Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Production Expert, and I'm joined today by Dan Hawkins from OnlineBassPlayer.com. Say hi, Dan. Hi, guys. Now, what we decided to do today is record some bass for a project that Dan, James Ivey, and myself are working on. And Dan has brought over his rather lovely 70s Fender bassman, and a, what was the other amp you brought over? Uh, Jewel Monique, a handmade preamp, which I've got. And what we decided to do with this is to plug it straight into the Universal Audio Oxbox. Now the Oxbox is mainly designed to take guitar amplifiers, but if you look through some of the speaker configurations on it, you'll see there's a, a Fender 4x10 bassman. So what we thought we'd do is to plug Dan's Fender bassman and use that 4x10 speaker emulation in the Oxbox. So let's have a listen to some of the tones we got out of that, and then we'll come back and have a quick chat about it. Here we go. Okay, so we've plugged the speaker out of the Fender bassman into the From Amplifier In on the Universal Audio Oxbox. So Dan, if you want to play something for us. Okay, let's record the track. Right, now we've recorded the track, let's have a listen to not only the Fender Bassman into the Universal Audio Oxbox, but also the Jules Monique into the Ox as well. So, I don't know about you, but I thought the Oxbox and the both the uh, amps sounded amazing. Yeah, I, I loved it. I thought it was really um, easy to use and, and sounds great. What more do you want? That's yeah. So, I thought the interesting thing was when we plugged in your Jules Monique, mm -hmm. so we had the that going into the Jules Monique power amp and then that going into the Oxbox. Yeah. And then we also took the DI out of the... Jumonique preamp straight into the Universal Audio Apollo and that's my exact setup that's what I use mm -hmm. and um, we noticed a big difference didn't we yeah. between those two yeah it's a massive difference yeah definitely a fuller sound and also the uh, well I don't know about you but the the Oxbox Baseman 4x10 speaker sounded sounded brilliant mm. I just, it was. yeah I 
got uh, that's a 77 that one and i've got uh, the cabinet mm. that came with that is a 2 by 15 mm -hmm. which you know sounds to be honest with you the goal here is is to have that the real thing sounds a bit more like this, and that's yeah. what I, that's what I'm looking for. And this is the nice because I use an Apollo Eight and uh, the Jules Monique a lot at home, and what I'm looking for is just a really simple setup that sounds great, and it did. And I do like to use the hardware and the software together, and I, I've never had that setup before really work so mm -hmm. well as this. So yeah, for me, I'm I'm sold on it. <laughs> so I'm Paul Drew from Production Expert, uh, Dan Hawkins from OnlineBassPlayer.com, and we'll see you guys next time.